fucking stuff the Beatles. The only Fab Four who rocked my world as a kid were the 18. Hannibal Smith. I love it when a plan comes together. We ate Baracus. I'm getting tired of your crazy rap. The Face Man. Fantasy is my middle name. And Howling Mad Murdoch. It's Captain Cab. They were the coolest dudes on TV, and every week, 15 million of us in the UK and millions more across the world watched in awe as they punched, gunned, conned, and crashed their way to victory over the bad guys. Get in. My mission is to track down the surviving members of the 80. Are you are, Mr. Drum Benedict? I've got just 10 days to do the nigh on impossible. Get them all in the same room together for the first time in almost 20 years. Can I touch your cock? Get off the property! Bloody hell, sorry. I can hear Mr. T. I'm on the wrong fucking bus. I'd like to be able to say I love it when a plan comes together. But at the moment, my plan's going to shit. British TV for kids in the early 1980s was rubbish. How do you make four equilateral triangles out of six matchsticks without them? It was dull as shit, and you couldn't understand a word of what they were saying. I wish I'd reach a great little weight in a foot snipe, and no radishes would fall out, so she couldn't put stuff in them anymore. And her bat it and all sting of rotten eggs, and she'd lazy and tight. Oh. But then came the 80. Real action with real heroes who could wipe out the baddies with a homemade rocket launcher and some garden vegetables. Rock on! I'm in LA for the next 10 days to try and track down Murdoch, BA and Face, the surviving cast members of The A-Team. Let's rock. Sammy, come on, dude, man. Get in. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if you can find them, bollocks, I fucked up, let me do it again. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security... The A-Team was an overnight sensation when it launched in 1983. It was a massive hit in over 100 countries and turned the stars of the show into international icons. But behind the scenes, the show was accused of being sexist, on PC, and there were rumours of bust-ups between bad boy Hollywood actor George Peppard and Mr. T, the bodyguard turned superstar. Peppard is no longer with us, and getting to T is going to take an effort of rocket star proportions. So I'm going to have to start my search with Dwight Schultz, aka Howling Mad Murdoch, the pilot everyone thought was crazy. Are you nuts? Absolutely, totally. Maybe if, if I want to try and reunite Murdoch with the rest of the A-Team, I'm going to have to break him out of some mental home. He might, he could. He might be in a mental home. That'd be great, wouldn't it? If Dwight Schultz was actually mental, and I had to go and bust him out of some mental home to take part in this show. There he is with his little, still wearing his little cap and his brown bomber jacket. Now he's eating his own shit. We've had researchers all over LA on the trail of Murdoch, and we've discovered he's due to be auditioning for a voiceover role at a sound studio here in Hollywood. One of our team is in telephone contact with an insider who will give us the nod when Murdoch is in the building. Right, don't let there, Simon. There's the finger. We got it. Murdoch's in there. Murdoch from the A team is in that building on the eighth floor recording a voiceover. He's got absolutely no idea that the JLC is going to turn up and we're going to hit him. Bring back the A team. We're going to do it. Come on. We're just going to have to charge past the security guards. Right, come on, guys. Okay. You get a little nervous? I love this. I absolutely love it. Right now, the security guards are there. Pay no attention to the security. Let's just walk straight in, all right? So I'm gonna, okay, just let's just walk straight on in. 
and then apparently it's round to the left. The lifts are round to the left, so just straight on in. All right, Simon. Okay, mate, lovely, brilliant. All right, guys. Okay, come on in, guys. Okay, quick, 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 quick. quick. Not one man down by the looks of it. All right, come on. Look at this, how good is this? Are they chasing after us, those guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what did you say to them? You just... I just sort of said I was English. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, come on, mate. Get in. Right, one floor, eight floor. Hound Man Murdoch from the 18, Dwight Short should be on this floor. Okay, 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 okay. okay, come on, guys, come on. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, I'm here to meet Dwight Schultz. Dwight Schultz? Yeah. He's okay. uh, Murdoch? Okay. Yeah, no, I'm taping with him. I'm expecting the camera. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you could just... Oh, actually, I wouldn't buzz him, because I'll, I'll just go on straight through. Which room is it? I don't know. I can't just send you back. No oh, Dwight... Told me about yeah, because I'm taping with the... I'm um, doing a voiceover with him. Yeah, Dwight Schultz. Well, hold is on. it... Yeah, you, you just round to the left, is it? Yeah, he's expecting us, and we're really late. Thank you. Hi, where's Dwight? Have you seen Dwight, mate? Is it in here? Hi, I've seen Dwight. To help you topple Shiro. <clears throat> Together. That's once Dwight and for all. That's Murdoch. That's Harry Man Murdoch. Can I? Can I just go in there? Right, let's just go in. Let me just go in. What? Dwight Schultz. Hi, how you doing? What my the name? hell? I'm, so, I'm really sorry to interrupt. My name is uh, Justin. I'm from Channel 4 Television in England. Uh, I'm doing a show called Bring Back the A-Team. You played my favourite character without a shadow of a doubt in that show. <laughs> you were howling Matt Murdock. You've got to be kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. Can I shake your hand, sir? I certainly can. Mr. But... Dwight Schultz, everybody, howling Matt Murdock. <laughs> Dwight, the show is all about reuniting, um, you know, the cast and, you know, talking to you about the show and maybe uh, uh, getting you together with some of the other guys. I'm talking, you know, the face man, Dirk Benedict. Can I? Uh, um, yeah, I just... Uh, can, can I, I can I finish this before you finish the voiceover? Right, right. Um, could I just maybe get a, a yes? Hopefully that you would agree to take part in our show, bring back the eighteen, and you would agree also to reunite with your fellow cast members. Of course, I'm reunited. Whoa. Come Whoa. on, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dwight Schultz, everybody, do we have the annual uh, yeah, Dwight right. just to seal the oh deal? Oh my God, Peter the fool! Oh, oh, Peter the fool! Come on, I love oh. it when you I love it when you say that. Uh, uh, Dwight, uh, you love you it when a plan comes together, right? Come on, I love uh, this. There we go. Oh, howling mad Murdoch. <laughs> That's right. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, come on. Uh, Justin. Good times. <laughs> Born to be wild. <laughs> Certified nutter howling mad Murdoch was the super skilled pilot capable of flying absolutely anything. This thing is supposed to fly. I got no fear. I got anything except an elevator. But Murdoch nearly didn't make the series, as TV execs were going to give him the boot halfway through filming the first episode. We shall make the skies safe for Mumsy Daddy and Buckingham! God save the Queen! Why were they going to fire you? They, uh, they thought I was over the top. And I am over the top. I mean, you know, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm an overactor. I go in that direction. Right. I'm up there. I'm intense. Uh, and, and they thought it was too intense, too over the top, too much. And, um, uh, but they changed their minds. Yeah. And Brandon Tartikoff called my agent and said, Dwight's dials are really good. What does that mean? The dials are, they, they test the show and they literally, the audience is there with a dial. And when you like the character, you turn it all the way to the right. And when you don't, turn it all the way to the left. And my dials were off the charts. Even when they just heard my voice, he said, they turned the dials all the way to the right. They'd crank it right up. Right, so then they wrote me back in. So, do you remember when you found out who the other, who your fellow actors were, were going to be playing the parts? Oh, yes. Now, obviously, I would imagine you were well aware of, of Peppard. Well, to, to realise I was going to work with Peppard and, uh, was, it was just a thrill. And I walked into the trailer, the makeup trailer, the first time, and I said, Mr. Peppard, my name is Dwight Schultz, how are you? And he says, yes, I am George Peppard, and I'm not a very nice man. That is, so help me God, that is what he said to me. His opening line to you. I am George Popper, and I am not a very nice man. When I was a kid watching this show, I remember the stories would occasionally come out that maybe you all didn't get along. Yeah, I think he was, a, you know, he was a movie star. Yeah. George was a movie star. And I mean it in the best and worst sense. I I'll tell you, this is, this is George in a nutshell. If you had a gun on the set, George would look at the, look at the gun, he'd walk off and come back with a bigger one. Really? Just slightly. Right. <laughs> that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, but that's... Movie stars are... are Hollywood is 
a place of ego. And uh, I think it created a lot of problems and tensions between George and T. Did they not get on? Not later, they didn't. I don't think George ever accepted the fact that T was the star of the show. Do you think Mr. T really was the, the, the big yeah, star of the show? Yeah, I, I, I think he was the draw. I think T was the big draw. There was no question about it. He was very famous, and uh, people wanted to see what Mr. T was going to be doing on television. And do you think that narked Peppard, he couldn't really get his head around the fact that here yeah. was George Peppard, an old Hollywood star. Right, that's right. Who's this new guy that's with right. the crazy fool and the mohawk and the chains? That's right, that's right. I and think George was the movie star and the actor, and he wanted to be the star of the A-Team. So I'm going to go after Mr. T, obviously, yes. because I would, I mean, I would like Mr. T to be part of this, you know, uh, reunification of the A-Team. Yes. The odds of getting him involved are probably long. Probably. I'm going to be somewhat intimidated because... Barry. I suppose the question is, yes. is he in, as intimidating off camera? He can be. Really? Yes, he can be. He could also be very sweet. Is he quite easy to upset? Well, I wouldn't say upset. I mean, you know, he, he just won't talk to you. He, he just, he just dismisses you. He can be very dismissive. Really? Yeah. Dwight Schultz, you're a legend. <laughs> <laughs> Howling Mad Murdoch, no. everybody. Come on. You're my favourite. You're my favourite. Okay. Can you just touch my dials? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>